My first memory of Darby and Grace was in Caitlin's front room. From that moment on, we have watched this relationship bloom. Big Chef was where they had their first meal. Seven fifty for satay chicken and rice. What a steal! Let me take you back to New Year's Eve 2011. Common friends, some of whom are here today, were all at Paradise Beach at Rose Bay to celebrate New Year. The night was described by Grace as a very drunkly event. Even though it was a bit of a setup, it could actually be described as more of a blind date. Darby was being just a tad shy and mysterious that night, sitting by himself on a rock in the dark. Grace couldn't actually see Darby because of where he was sitting, but after chatting a little while, she picked up that this guy in the shadows, he seemed to be a nice guy. I still can't believe we met when we were 16. I could barely speak to boys, let alone someone I found attractive. I'm pretty pleased to say that I made the first move after our walk, and lo and behold, we went to our first super romantic date to Big Chef. So the new couple embraced the dating scenario together, and the more and more time that they spent together, the more they realised just how well suited they were. I remember the conversation with Cheryl and when she said to me that Grace Minolds is an angel. I've gone, oh my god, I've always told Darby he's a saint. Darby has stepped in to take our beautiful baby away, and we are very happy to have him do so. If you can not really taking her away, they're moving back in with us in a couple of weeks. amazing grace. I have to say when we first met I didn't think this is where we'd be standing over 10 years later. I'm not quite sure what it is but I haven't stopped thinking about you since. Those 10 years have been the best. Dear Grace and Darby, first things first, congratulations, obviously. I cannot imagine two people more perfect for each other. Heartbeat in a quiet, spotlight in an empty room, a song in the silence, my dreams come in. So I've taken from the time they first met, where all I seem to remember is nothing but sweat. 
all the way to Lake Louise, where Darby asked Grace, will you please? Thankfully for us all, Grace said yes, because what Darby would have done is anyone's guess. I can have a really bad day and Darby and Grace can walk in and I'm happy. Darby and I have shared countless memories, a few so great I could go on for centuries. From travel to golf and a few too many beers, there's even a few that ended in tears. Despite all this, Darby's found someone to take my place. This is where I speak about Darby's biggest achievement, Grace. I started to wonder. Grace, we made a lot of questionable decisions when we were younger, but I can safely say that sticking with Darb is one of the best decisions that you've ever made in the last 10 years. I'll never forget what Darby's grandmother Dixie said to us just after we got engaged and it was all about the most important parts to making a relationship last. I, I couldn't stop crying in that ceremony. It just, the tears just kept rolling down the cheeks and I'm thinking, how good is this? Grace, you've been part of our family for so long. To officially have you part of our family is just beautiful. And I'm so happy. I love how you understand me most of the time. And even if you don't, you always try to. But mostly, you make me feel safe, calm, yet excited and motivated. You always have drive to make your goals and ambitions can come true but mostly how you treat those around you. I promise to be the yin to your yang, to be the main talker in the relationship, to be the one who asks too many questions and to keep things interesting and exciting. I promise to always be there for you through the thick and thin. Can't wait to start a family together and enjoy what the future has in store for us. Darby, thank you for choosing my best friend. You are so patient and so kind and so loving. I'm so unbelievably happy that you chose my best friend to be your partner for life. I'm so happy for the two of you that the day went the way it went. It was amazing. I wish you nothing but ridiculous happiness for the next however long. Lots of love, Coco. From day one to now, we've seen tears and laughter, but from that moment on, I could only ever see these two living happily ever after. call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Grace Alexandra Manolis, that I, Darby Fee and Murphy, take you, Grace Alexandra Manolis, take you, Darby Fee and Murphy, to be my wedded husband and partner in life, 
been my wedded wife and partner in life. I can't wait to do all the adult stuff with you that we've been waiting for, like have babies and lots of dogs. And can't wait to call you my wife. Yeah. You're my number one, my best friend, and now my official partner for life.